and I thought it would be nice to have a box to display some of my smaller 3D prints. And I found this one at a local craft store. Now, I only paid $4 for this thing. That's cheaper than I can build it. But I wanted drawers at the bottom to store some of my smaller prints. So that's what I'm going to show you today, is how I designed and printed drawers for my low-cost wooden box. Now before we get started on the drawer, I just wanted to give you guys an update. A few subscribers have asked me for specific projects, one of them being gear drives. Well, I'm working on it. Here's a couple examples of some worm drives. Here's one that's in a case and a motor goes on here and drives the worm gear. And I've got another one here with it's a trapezoidal worm drive. Now both of these have had some issues. I got both the files off of Thingiverse and I've printed them out, but there's some dimensional issues that I'm finding with these designs. And these are very, very critical. And I'm not sure if it's related to the printing, to the files, so I'm still working those out. So hang in there. I'll have these in a future video. So let's get started on the drawers. I'll show you how I built them. I used Tinkercad to create the drawer. I made it 72 millimeters high, 69 millimeters wide, and 97 millimeters deep. I got these dimensions from the wooden box. Next, I created a hollow box or a hole and place that directly inside the first box. I made it 66 millimeters wide and 94 millimeters deep. I centered it so this gave me about a 1.5 millimeter wall thickness. I offset the hole from the bottom, 2 millimeters. That gave me a 2 millimeter thickness on the bottom of the box. The handle was made with just a flat piece that I put all the way to the base so I wouldn't have to print with supports. I made it 20 millimeters wide and 14 millimeters deep. I made it 4 millimeters thick. But I wanted some extra support, so I added a triangular piece to form a fillet. The size really didn't matter, but it just, it kind of added support or strength to that. Now the rounded pieces, to give me a rounded edge, are a custom piece that you can adjust the diameter, the, the angle, the size, and I got that from the shape generators under the community section. So when I was done, here was the complete box. I grouped it all together and hit group to make it into one unit. So now I was ready to release it for 3D printing. So I clicked on design and then download for 3D printing, select .stl, and I had the .stl file. I clicked on that and it automatically appeared in my XYZware on my Mac. Now it ended up facing backwards, so I turned it 180 degrees in the Z direction, so the tab was facing forward. Now I'm going to export it here to make the 3W file that I'll then put on a flash drive and take it to my lab computer. I used a 0.4 layer height, a 10% fill, standard shells, standard speed, and I don't care about supports because I'm not going to use them. I click export and the slicing begins. Now the slicing took a little over a minute and a half. To complete and then I saved the file and I was ready to go. The design looked as expected so I sent it to the printer. Okay so the print's done. And there we have it. Now one thing I've noticed on a few of these prints, not all of them, but a few of them, I'm getting a splitting at this about the same spot. So I don't know if it's just the way the pressure is on the box, if I need to make the walls a little bit thicker, or just go to a different layer height. I mean these were the 0.4, which is pretty crude. Maybe I need to go to a 0.3 or a 0.2, but it's really not that big a deal for what I'm doing. And it fits nicely in the slot. I even printed out a, a different knob on this drawer 
I like these flat ones better, but maybe you like that. And then it holds the small pieces. So that's it. That's my drawer for my cheap wooden box. If you like this project, check out some of my other projects. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Apparently YouTube wants to see thumbs up. But I'd like to see you subscribe. So if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. See you next time.